Your top five news stories for today. Governor Kelly's order limiting Kansas church service stands after justices rule hours before Easter Sunday. Stimulus money to start hitting bank accounts. Prime Minister Boris Johnson discharged from the hospital. Apple, Google team up on big effort to trace coronavirus cases using Bluetooth technology. Tom Hanks hosts special Saturday Night Live remote show. And marijuana dispensaries deemed essential but ineligible for federal stimulus money. Hi, Valley Center Schools. It's Julie, the librarian. I just wanted to show you how to get to the ebook and audiobooks that I have at Valley Center High School in the card catalog. It's pretty easy to do, but I just wanted to show you. We just go to schools on the USD 262 homepage, schools and high school, then click on down to the Library Media Center and it will bring up my homepage. Here's Destiny Quest. Destiny Quest is my library card catalog. You just click on that and it will bring up a page that looks like this. Then go up here to Fall at Shelf. That's a really easy visual way to look at what ebooks and audiobooks we have in our collection. The easiest way to do that is after it loads, after a minute here, is taking a little minute here. Here's Valley Center High School. These are recently added books to the collection, popular titles in our library. And then down at the bottom, it has ebooks and audiobooks. It's very easy to look at these. Just click on the picture of the cover and it will open, tell you a little bit about this book. And you can log in to look to listen to it. It should just work with your credentials. If it doesn't, just email me and hopefully I can get that problem fixed. And after it opens up the cover, you will see that there are ways to play or check it out, but if you want to play it first, you can click on play so you can see if this is something you want to listen to. So it might take a minute to load, but that's okay. It's just loading. on your computer. After it loads, there will be ways for you to listen, the speed you want to listen to, all of that will be up here on the right side of your computer. As soon as it loads, there's the book options, there's the speed, you can bookmark, you can put on a sleep timer. Um, but you just press play in the woods. and it will my play. You can skip ahead if you would like. I don't know where my oldest boy was. And my you can check out the book right here. Safe at home. After you I check did. it out, it will give Once you the due date. Time, we were all together or in you can return it. But Pretty easy, self-explanatory. That's how you listen to a book. You can check it out right here also. So that are the audiobooks. I have a few, not a lot, but there are a few if you want to listen to a book. If you like to read a book online, these are my ebooks. I have quite a few. A lot of them are nonfiction, but you can just pick a book and look at the book. Just click on the title. Same way, you can open it first, check it out. There's a little bit of information about the book. Open the book and it will again have on the left side up here ways that the book will be formatted. If you want to take notes and highlight in the book, you can do that. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, just like other eBooks that you might have seen online. There's um, bookmarks, there's how to highlight, take notes on the book. This is how the book could be, um, if you want to check it out the book, it's the same way. You can skip ahead, 
chapters. So if you want to go to different chapters and read the book like that, you can do that and turn the pages right there. Pretty easy. I have um, all kinds of books in the ebooks also. So you can just go and check it out. There's the due date or return it. Pretty easy. If you have any issues with the books, um, just email me and hopefully I can answer the questions on how to check out an ebook and an audiobook. Don't forget, I also can help you check out a book through the audiobook through the Kansas Library. All I need is your email. So you might have to email me your email and birth date, but if you would be interested in getting a Kansas State Library card, to listen to audiobooks, just email me. If you have any other library questions or if you need any help with any of the ebooks or audiobooks, just drop me a line, email me, and I'd be happy to help you. Hope that helps. Hope to talk to you soon. Thank you, Valley Center. <laughs>《Apollo 13 is crippled on its way to the moon when a tank containing liquid oxygen bursts in its command module. The three astronauts on board are forced to return to Earth, relying on their lunar module as a lifeboat in space. 1743. Thomas Jefferson, author of the Declaration of Independence and America's third president, is born in the Virginia colony. 1986. In Rome, Pope John Paul II becomes the first pontiff to officially visit a synagogue. It's one of John Paul's most visible moves to improve the Catholic Church's relationship with Jews. 1964. Sidney Poitier is the first black performer in a leading role to win an Oscar for his role in Lilies of the Field. And 1997. It's something that I've always dreamt of. I think any golfer who's a, a kid has always dreamt of playing the Masters and, and winning it, and I was able to do that. 21-year-old Tiger Woods becomes the youngest player to win the Masters Tournament. Woods is also the first person of either African-American or Asian heritage to win the Masters. Today in History, April 13th, Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press. Today's weather outlook. Today will have a high of 49 with a low of 32, and tomorrow will have a high of 53 with a low of 33. Here's how you can make your own face covering in a few easy steps with items you can find around the house, like an old scarf, a bandana or a hand towel, or you can make a face covering out of an old t-shirt. Fold it to the middle from the bottom, fold it to the middle from the top, fold it again to the middle from the bottom, and again from the top, and then two rubber bands, one on one side and one on the other side. Then you fold either side to the middle and you have yourself cloth face covering. It's that easy. We know that we're asking Americans to do a lot right now. So we're asking everyone to be selfless for others so that we can protect those who are most susceptible to this virus. A question I often get asked is why should young people care about the spread of coronavirus? Well, we know that people with 
underlying medical conditions over the age of 60 are at highest risk, but they've got to get it from somebody. Social distancing is really physical separation of people. It's what we refer to when we ask people to say at least six feet apart. Not going to bars, not going to restaurants, not going to theaters where there are a lot of people. It all just means physical separation so that you have a space between you and others who might actually be infected or infect you. We all have a role to play in preventing person-to-person -person spread of this disease, which can be deadly for vulnerable groups. For more information on how you can social distance, please go to coronavirus.gov.